reason or the logic behind that decision. So you see, every effort was made and Ghanaians were part of that conversation. So I have no doubt in my mind that he has been speaking largely to the contributions that he would make, to the fact that he would go back to the drawing cards. But you see, let's watch Parliament very carefully and see when the need arises how the new patriotic party will conduct itself in this conversation about the constitutional amendments and the reviews that we are currently discussing. I've heard that uh, the NCC and some other uh, non-governmental bodies, yeah. a few CSOs are working very hard to try and uh, make some recommendations and do some work on the process. I don't know how far they've gone. I know that there's some consultations with the various political parties. But I'm sure that in honor and in memory of the late Professor John Evansa Tamils, it is a matter that President Mahama holds very dear. And I'm sure that in the event that Ghanaians, in all humility, validate and request to lead us in 2024, I'm sure that this is a matter that would receive attention and be dealt with in real time. Will you say generally that Ghanaians have regretted giving the nod to the NPP government? Because in some of the footages that we saw, uh, one guy actually knelt to beg the former president to forgive him for leading uh, his charges to vote against